with recipes so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. Now you can try some of those other products and they may work for you or they're like, man, I should have just went with Alexis's Pampered Chef because Pampered Chef is for everyone. There's a price point. Did you know the majority of Pampered Chef is under $30? Yeah, under $30, you can get some great tools in your kitchen. And these, these tools, not only like they last you almost a lifetime, if not, they're going into the next generation because we have cast iron here now. We have some great pots and pans. Hey, Lenny, how you doing? Uh, so thanks for coming in. So anyway, I live here in Southeast coast of Georgia. I've, I'm living with my mom and my dog Cooper and my mom, I asked my mom earlier, what do you want for dinner? And I said, you want some hamburgers? You want this and like that? And it's like, no, no, no. I said, you want some hot dogs? And she goes, yeah. So anyway, while I was uh, broadcasting, after I got done broadcasting these scones, which she ate one, she, she snitched a little bit out one before I took my picture, y'all. So, hey, Monica. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, she goes, here, I'm going to give you some money. Go up the street and get some uh, buns. Like, I, I can deal without the hot dog bun, y'all, okay? Um, but she wanted the buns. So, I went up. I, I got in the car. I drove up the street like three miles away, went into the little Dollar General because, you know, there's one on every corner now, right? And I got the buns and I got ice cream. What flavor of ice cream did I get my mom today? Okay, what flavor of ice cream? So let us know in the chat if you're watching the replay. Thank you for coming in and watching, okay? Watch it to the end because you're going to be amazed at how these hot dogs look, okay? So let's uh, put you down here. And this here is the um, air fryer. Uh, skewer okay and I already have two on here it comes with eight but we're only doing four hot dogs okay and so you're gonna get the skewers and they're really easy to take in and out if you're not here for the for the final you push it in and turn it okay to get it out you're gonna turn it like this way all right so we're gonna skewer these babies these hot dogs up okay and just get that little that little end right there and push it right through that dog oh this is so painful for that dog I'll tell you what, that's barking at me right now. All right, so we got it in, okay? So let's get the other one in. So we're, we're done with that. We just get that thing and push it right in. You can sort of feel where the center is. Just try and go straight. If you, I, oops, I went and went out a little bit, so I had to go back in. All right, so no problem. We got it in, right? So we're going to add this in, the second one, and it's the same thing. You're just going to go in on one side, okay? In on one side, twist it, and it pops right in, all right? So again, you're just going to put it right in the hole. You're going to bring it up here, push this uh, end one, and turn it. And now we have the hot dog in the skewer. Okay, this is, this is you can do up to eight hot dogs this way. And we're going to do it in the air fryer. So one, we don't have to heat up the uh, stove to boil them in water or grill them on the stove or go outside when it's 90 degrees with 100% humidity. It's just too hot outside. Or you don't even have to put it in the microwave because who wants a microwave hot dogs, right? So these are going to come out really, really good. All right, so now that we have them in here now, the thing is, when you get these off, if you're not watching on the replay, you're going to I have to go get the tool. But you're going to get the tool and bring it in. And if you don't have um, this uh, cooling rack, this is how you can get them off, okay? Because you don't want to, when you bring them out, you don't want to lay them down like this, okay? You sort of want to stand them up, okay? And then you're going to get your little microwave grips, hold it. And then you're going to turn it and it pops right out. You see how quick that was? All right. So that's one way. Now, if you don't have the cooling rack or something to put them in, you can actually put it on your grates on your gas stove. Okay. So again, just put that in and do it the other reverse way and turn it. It goes right in. All right. And we're going to get the, I have to go get the, um, the little, hopefully the device is over there. All right. So we're going to put this in the air fryer. Okay. Hey, Brenda, how are you doing, girl? All right. Great job. All right. There you go. All right, so we're going to put it in the air fryer. I'm just going to put it right down. There's like these little level levels right here. We're going to put them right in. They just go in. You know, put it in on the left side and then hang it on the right side. And then there's a little give in here. You see how that give is? All right, we're going to push it all the way over to one side, to the, le to the left side, because this is where the mechanics is over here, and it's going to make a change. So if it's over on this side, it's not going to be engaged. It won't turn on you. Put it over on the one side. We're going to close this off, turn it over to rotisserie, and put it down to like, I think, 10 minutes. I forget if it's... I've done it this way before, y'all, but I forget if it was 8 minutes or 12 minutes. So let's go with 10, and we'll check it out at 8, okay? So, what are you having for dinner, y'all? What are you having for dinner? All right. Uh, there, okay, so I'm getting some notes. All right, so I have this awesome little um, express party going on 
on Messenger. If you are a, a friend of mine on Messenger, let me know if you want to be invited to it. It's start. It's start. It's uh, preliminary stuff is today, but the party's tomorrow at eight fifteen tomorrow night, East Coast time. Okay, so it's really, really, good, really good to to see uh, a really fast express party. All right. Uh, we also have going on is the share rewards. All right. Share rewards is where you get a percentage off on your um, total total bill. Okay. So if you have a hundred dollar order. It could be uh, right now it's at five percent. It's almost to seven percent, but it can go up to twenty five percent. So I'm looking at some people to like, hey, you want that air fryer? You know, we get a couple people get an air fryer. The air fryer. Oh, I forgot where I put my little stickies at. Oh, here they are. So the air fryer is normally two hundred seventy nine dollars. Two hundred seventy nine dollars. But if you want to get it and we get it and we get up to twenty five percent, twenty five or uh, up to a thousand dollars in sales, the air fryer is two hundred nine dollars. Now you're going to be using this air fryer every single day, whether you're making uh, toast in the morning or heating up leftover pizza or making eggs in there, or man, what else are we make in there? You can make a roast in there. We can make, you see me cooking this thing all the time. And even Gemma over in the, over in your, you're using your air fryer to make the scones. I'm like, yeah, I'm not heating up that oven. I'm not going outside to, to grill something. No, I'm cleaning the air fryer because it doesn't get heat up my whole kitchen. Right? So anyway, uh, on the shared awards, when we get to two, uh, 25%, uh, which hopefully we will, but this party is for you here on HAPS, the HAPS people. All right, I have 53 people. There was actually four people, so we have 49 people that are actually watching this broadcast. If at least a few of you think, hey, you know, I need a couple of different tools from Pam from Pampered Chef that, I, that Alexis has been using, this is the party for you. You will get a percentage off, whether it is 5% or 7% or all the way up to 25%. But don't be waiting for the next person to, to do it, okay? Because this this uh, this uh, party is on a ticking time bomb, okay? The party, all the orders are held until Saturday, and they will all be submitted at one time. They'll all be submitted on Saturday. So don't come to me Saturday evening and say, oh, my God, I forgot to get my order in. It's too late. It's automatically submitted by Pampered Chef because it's on a deadline on this one, okay? I was Okay, so Lenny says to Brenda, I was in the broadcast watching. I'd be trying them all. <laughs> I just... I, you know, I, I knew I was going to add the raisins and cinnamon on top, but I, I sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on the inside of my scone jaw. I love everything on my dog. I, I know. Real, oh, that, that's, that reminds me. We need to um, uh, cut up some onions. Please tell the truth. Pampered Chef is an awesome party. Yes. So anyway, Pampered Chef's been around for 40 years. It's been longer around it, longer than you, Robert. Okay. And uh, you need to get some Pampered Chef into your kitchen. All right. And I'm the person that went that you want to buy that stuff from because it helps me and my family. It is my full-time income and career that I'm doing at Pampered Chef right now. All right. And doing this live here on HAPS helps me spread the word and to teach you how to use all the tools that are available to Pam to you from Pampered Chef. Okay. There we go. So uh, let's see. I don't know why the heck. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let me take a screenshot. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, there we go. Got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, there we go. So we got that. All right. All right. So anyway, um, hey, Hannah, how are you doing? Did the boy guys leave? I know they went to go across to the uh, Gulf of Mexico over there. Uh, I didn't know they're spending the whole night there. Oh, my God. They rushed out of here like a hot potato to get down down to down to Jacksonville. I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I was going to say they left me in all the dishes, but I said, you guys got to leave because I know Hannah's only available till six. Okay. So I'm going to um, cut up some of these this onion. I can get up the onion. All right, so I'm, I'm just getting rid of this part of the onion. Uh, yeah, I don't want that onion. All right. I'm not even saving in my thing. I got too much garbage. I got too much stuff in my freezer to keep on in it. Uh, just sent the boys off. Okay, great. Way to go, Brenda. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. All right, so get your um, orders in. Everybody gets a discount on the shared rewards party, okay? If you missed out on the mystery show because Patty won the 380 bucks, all right? This time, everybody gets a piece of the pie and you all get a discount, okay? So anyway, we're going to be using the food chopper. This is one of my favorite tools by Pampered Chef. Now, um, because it, cause it's uh, this one's 30 years old. I mean, it has some chicken on it, okay? This is one of my first original um, purchases I got when I had my first party with Pampered Chef. And my party was a $1,000 party way back in like, what was it, 19... Oh, my God, 91? 1991. We got this. I think 91, 1990, 1990. Okay. So we got this in 1990. I had a great party way back then. And that was a lot of orders at a thousand dollars way back then. Now it's only 15 orders. So, you know, I had at least 25 orders to get a thousand on that one. Okay. So anyway, uh, the, this one here, it has these we weavy um, lines on here. 
and when you push it, you see how the, um, the, the wheels turn? So it chops your onions up. Now it's great for nuts, it's great for candies, anything that's hard and you don't want the exact pretty little um, um, cubed or what is it called? Uh, yeah, square type uh, cuts, okay? So if you don't want exact cuts, this is this is it. Like on, on hot dogs, it doesn't matter if they're all perfectly diced, diced there you go, diced um, uh, onions, all right? We just put this on there. You have this one too? Yes, we can sharpen these blades, okay? I'm gonna show you how to sharpen them, okay? And I actually got it here. We got five minutes left. All right, so we got the, this is the multi-tool blade sharpener. I don't know, it's like 20 bucks, $19 or so. And you see, this one has two V's on the end. It means you can, you can, it's sharp, it's sharpened on both sides because the knife is double-sided uh, blade and you can sharpen on both sides. And that's this, that's a squiggly one where this thing comes into, into play. Then you can turn it around and you can do scissors or your manual food processor, sir, because it has one carbide, which is the side here, the sharp. And you just hold it in your hand and just like, like, I like to do it this way and go around with it. Just take this thing off. Okay. And you're just going to get it and put, you put it on the countertop so you can see it, but you just go right through it and just pull it right down. And you're going to do it a few times. I already done this one already several times. I don't think I need to sharpen it. But mine went several years. I didn't even know that they had this tool and it sharpens this crazy blade. All right. Uh, just be careful when you're watching this because uh, I've cut myself more watching it than actually ever using it. All right. Because I wasn't watching where the sponge was going and oops, there it goes. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. Oh my gosh. All right. Never knew that. Yeah. All right. So we got that. So th this is a multi-tool blade sharpener. Um, it's better to use that on, on our cheaper Kogut knives, which, you know, I use this all the time, rather than uh, these uh, professional ones. This one here, actually, you need a honing tool. Okay. You need the honing tool and go like this to do the honing tool. Okay. So that's what, it's not recommended to do the multi-tool on your good knives, but the Kogut knives, you can use it on that. Okay. So let's put that over there. Let me see how my oh they're looking great we're almost done with our hot dogs here and i haven't even I haven't even done anything all right so let's get going we're gonna chop these babies up let me get another little mat out let's just chop it on the board let's just chop it on a bar board all right and i can just put it right into the into the um kitchen or the table wow we're just getting up these onions great all right onions done look at that Woo. Get the back of this one out. Use the back of your knife so you can get it right out. Good to the last drop. There we go. Put that in the sink, sink on the top. And my onions are beautifully done, ready to go. All right, next, we're going to get some baked beans because my mom likes uh, pork and beans with our hot dogs. And we're going to use our multi, we're going to use it there, our, our uh, can opener, which is Pamper Chef. It's a smooth edge can opener. Once you do it, you won't cut yourself. You can, if you're a crafter, then you definitely need this in your life. If not, you still need it in your life because everybody opens a can once in a while, okay? Now, it does have this little hook right here where if you have the pop tops, you can do the pop tops and it comes right off. It'll help you, okay? It, it looks like it didn't, it went all the way around, but it doesn't op open up because you get the little beak right here, put it up, and then pull it up, and voila, there you go. Okay, so we're going to get this... Uh, I'm going to put this in a bigger cup because I'm not going to use it all. No. And usually the, the uh, syrup is already on top. So let's get that out. Let's get a spoon. Fine. All right. Now I can put this in here and just microwave it, but I want to do single servings here. And so I'm going to put some in here, about a half a cup of servings on here. I want the syrup to get in there too, the sauce. All right. Go. There's one, and I like to put Tabasco sauce in mine, y'all. And sometimes I'll even put a little score of barbecue sauce in it. And boy, is that good! All right, then we'll have a little bit left over. Mom will have it for lunch tomorrow. Okay, so this can go in the microwave and just heat it right up. Okay, if you want, put it on the stove and heat up on the stove and skip the microwave. All right, back we go with this. I'm gonna wash that out because we recycle. And my um, hot dogs are all done, y'all. All right. Hot dogs are done. 
Oh, they are looking so good, y'all. Okay, I think it's a little bit of All right, so it comes with this handy dandy tool. All right, and you want to get it out with this. All right, let me see who's here and if I need to block anybody or mute somebody. All right, there we go. Hi, hi, hi. Where are my where are my moderators at? Oh my gosh. Oh, hi, hi, hi. There we go. We're off to speed. All right. So we have the hot dogs that were already done. We put them in the air fryer under the rotisserie. Okay. And we did it for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay. We're going to get this thing and we're going to pull those hot dogs out. Now, here we go. Just gonna pull it right in. There we go. Oops. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. There is our rotisserie hot dogs, y'all. Aren't these absolutely fabulous? All right, now let me put this down, turn this over. Oh my gosh, yes. These are air fryer hot dogs, y'all. All right, aren't they looking great? These are looking so good and they smell delicious, y'all. So we're gonna put this down right here, like on here, you need it at the top and just hold it, all right? And let it hold and then it sits like that. Okay, so you can get it out. Pretty easy, right? All right, so we're gonna get that over there and I'm gonna twist and turn these babies, get that other one. And you're just going to pinch it and turn it. And there's your hot dog. Hot dogs. Yes, they are, Randy. Randy, uh, I'll tell you what. There we go. So we got those. Sometimes you just need a hot dog in your life. I grew up on hot dogs, and I'm still alive at 58. I'm doing great. All right. So let's get that one off. There. Oh, and one more. So just pinch it. Okay, you're going to pinch it. Pinch this in and then turn it. All right. Pinch and then turn it right off. Now, has any of your other consultants showed you how to use the skewers or how to put them on or how to take them off? All right. These are great. All right. Oh, I'm on a seafood diet right now. I see it and I want to eat it. There we go. All right. So let's see. Uh, good job. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Randy needs a real life. I know. Doesn't he, Brenda? Brenda, I may have to add you and Missy Mouse and everybody else as a moderator because I've been coming in at odd times and that guy just is relentless, y'all. So now we're going to just slip this right off. You're just going to hold it with your thing and just slide it right off and it comes right off. And these are really easy to clean. You can put them in, in your dishwasher, but y'all know I hand wash everything. All right, there we go. Slide it right off. Slide it right off. And my dogs are all done. There. And this is super easy to clean also. Once it cools down, you can um, uh, twist this little top and this thing comes off and it lays flat, okay? So that is really easy. I showed you how to put it on, take it off, and cook your hot dogs. And these are really, really good. Ay, 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 ay. All right, so I wanna thank everybody for coming in. If you are interested, please let me know. I would help you to get some pamper check into your kitchen. And today we're having the um, uh, share rewards party. Uh, if not, check out some other people's parties and, put, and post it on a party, put, make, a, make an order there. Uh, you, I can help you save money by getting a few of your friends together and giving you a workshop that you will love and uh, learn something new every single day. And you can do, even do a, an express party, which is really fast, okay? So, or you can, Hey, you can also earn money. I got a new consultant signed up last night. So, and she's on the road to success. All right. Cause she wants to, she wants to do it. And I'm like really excited for her. So anyway, my hot dogs are all done. Thanks for coming in and I'll see you all next time. Bye.